Hey guys, welcome to Tools on Tap, and today we're taking a look at an interesting flashlight. It's called the Zan Flare F1. Z A N Flare F1. Uh, I'll tell you about the flare in a minute. <clears throat> but the best part about this, Josh, is uh, it's rechargeable, and it's yeah. it's not expensive. It's an entry level light. It's like what 30, 30, 30, 30 35 bucks. It's in that thirty two ninety nine. I think yeah. it was. It's like a thirty dollar. Did I say knife? It's a thirty dollar flashlight. And um, so basically, let's talk about a couple of features. Mini USB. There is a um, there's a, a, a kind of like a, an O-ring here that's protected. You unscrew it just below the bezel that comes down, and there's a mini USB there with a, a charging indicator. Orange is charging, green is nice charged. Yep, comes with a cord to <coughs> plug into your computer. I mean, you were saying that's yeah, key, I, right? I love this idea. Why do you uh, love that idea? This idea and this idea, because um, you look at the all right. You look at your phones, your Android phones specifically. Not so much your, your your Apple, but Android, your MP3 players, your your handheld devices, your tablets. Everything, almost everything, right now is operating off of a micro USB. Yeah, yeah. So now you have one more feature, and you don't need a separate charging station. You don't need a separate cord. Every like your phone cord. For my Android phone, will work right. on charging this flashlight. My iPhone cord will not, <laughs> right. but, and that's an argument for another day. Let's talk about yeah. compatibility. <laughs> but uh, look, uh, lanyard, it's adjustable, it's got a clip on it. Um, <clears throat> this little guy has all the features of the big boys, right? Yeah. Of the expensive. It's got a, a belt clip, uh, black anodized aluminum, really, really aircraft aluminum, really nice. Couple features. So, Josh, on the back, there's a thumb button on and off, right? Yes, and there it, is. It remembers the, the setting. You, yeah, what you, right. one of your seven settings. Seven settings. So let's talk about that. So the the, the thumb button <coughs> is on the back, and the mode button is up here on the bezel. So you would rotate through these. So one thing that I have not seen. You tell me if you've seen this. Is I have not seen that one right there. The moon. Is that the one? The moonlight. Let me see if I can get it to do it. Hold on. There we go. High and moonlight. I have not seen that. One, That's moonlight. One lumen. One lumen. So if you're a house burglar, this is perfect. You, know, you just need to see what you're stealing. And, no, just kidding. <laughs> so why would you use this? I don't know. Maybe you don't want to screw with Reading night, a book at night, maybe. Vision. You don't want to disturb the missus. Just checking or something, mister. right? Uh, just checking something quick. You don't need yeah. a whole lot of light. Yeah, right? if you're camping in a tent. You know, exactly. That's exactly all the and then you jump really up need. to 50 lumen when you go to um, low. And then what was the next one was medium? It, yeah, low, medium, medium high, high, flare. So medium was 290, high was 590. And flare, you would have to, no matter what mode you're in, you would press twice, and it would go right into flare. Flare is 1240 lumens. Mm. That's a lot of light. That's a whole lot of light. But it's not gonna stay. So uh, I think it was 30 seconds. Yeah, 30 seconds, it'll stay like that. And then on top of those, you've got strobe. Yeah, which really messes people which, up. Which uh, yeah. we're still debating on the function. Unless you're having a dance party in a tent <laughs> in your backyard while you're camping. <laughs> not or really sure traders or something to try to uh, take somebody down. I don't know. There's some, there's some options there. <laughs> and then an SOS mode, God forbid you'd be lost in the woods or in a raft. That, you have that. So it's a real SOS, by the way. It, 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 yeah. It's really blank, slow. Blank, blank, right. blank, blank, blank. Uh, uh, 100, uh, was it? 144 grams in weight. It's not even a pound, or is right. it a pound? No, no definitely no, not, it's not a pound. pound. So it's not even a pound. It's like um, five five <laughs> inches long. Yeah, give or take five inches. Yep. I don't yeah. know. What do you think? What, what's that thing right there? Little tips here. I just noticed that. That's uh, a, glass a glass break. break. It's a glass break. So weird, but I guess maybe consider have this this uh particular style flashlight in your emergency kit in in the trunk of your car if yeah you're, if you're or yeah. you know some kind of emergency circumstance emergency kit um hey for 30 bucks this is a great flashlight i mean i don't know if you noticed but when you unscrew this see all the o-rings it's got to be rated for waterproof right so it's do, we have, do we have a, an actual rating is i mean is there a so rechargeable battery to i i i, I don't it was some XP I, IPX8 is what right. it is. It's um, IPX8 is waterproof to <coughs> two meters, I think, something okay. like that. And and the O-rings, it's it's well machined, it's well made. The O-rings are nice. Um, need a little bit of lube. You can hear the yeah, it grind, grinds little bit, a little bit. A little but bit. Overall, um, I mean, so you're talking you're talking rain, you're talking snow. Yep. You're talking yep. weather with a glass break and an SOS. 
I think I can go get lost in the woods. <laughs> I think you're right. I think you're right. I do. Um, I do like <clears throat> the separate buttons, the mode and the power button. I think that um, takes a lot of the confusion out of it. Where some yep. other flashlights have it all as one button. It's got thermal step down, so it will step down, so it doesn't overcharge, overheat. And there's also a low uh, low power setting. I and I forget exactly what it does, but it flashes once every minute or something, it does something to alert you that the battery is it's low, lo is, is, is to, you know. Um, yeah, because with, with certain low. certain LED flashlights, a, a big issue is that it just dies and yeah. there's no warning ahead of time. Um, come, <laughs> the packaging's pretty impressive. It comes in a really cool box, gives you a mini USB, and, and it comes with this stupid, goofy little it's neoprene uh, sleeve that I guess you could strap to a backpack or your belt. I, I would never use that. I would just use the belt. Yeah. You know, and, and you, you think of cases, it, it's usually some form of a pull out from the top or pull out from the side. This is a pull out from the middle. Um, weird. It's definitely but weird. It looks, I mean, I I don't know. I, I just, I, I like I said, I don't see myself using yeah. a case. I have an emergency flare kit in my car. I, I might potentially put it in there. I, I think that the flare option alone, the 1240 lumen, where you double press quick and you get that boom, that light, you yeah. know, maybe you want to surprise somebody, or you're really trying to look for something quick. That's pretty cool. It's made in China, uh, and I think the price reflects that. It's, it's a really nice entry level yeah. light. It's not high end. But it's got a lot of high-end features. Does that make sense? Yeah, I, I think yeah. it's gonna be great. It, I think for the, for the really, whole, God forbid, the power go out. And, yeah, you know, we had here in leave town. It, leave power it plugged went out, in on the shelf. Power went out in town on Christmas Day, it Christmas did. morning. It on, did. On the, on the no, other no side kidding. of town. I forgot about that. Um, but you know, you might find yourself in the dark. It might be a good flashlight to have handy in a, in a kitchen drawer. Yeah. I'd do it. I'd buy it for thirty bucks. Oh, I think yeah. it's a no-brainer. Guys, this is the Zanflare F1. Let me know what you think. It, I want to know what you think about this light, but more importantly, what is your go-to light? Do you do you use batteries still? Or are you recharging? Do you do both? Let me know. Leave a comment below. We absolutely love when you comment on these Tools on Tap videos. We answer every one, uh, whether it's a thumbs up or we comment. We answer every single comment that you guys make. And if you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button below. We need your support. Take care, guys. Take Have care. a great night.